Rates are hanging in around 7%. And with over 50% of current mortgages being at 4% or lower, 7% is hard to swallow. So what is keeping these rates so high? A Florida Realtors article stated, the Federal Reserve had hoped that 2024 would be a year for cutting interest rates. However, with inflation proving more persistent than almost anyone had anticipated, these expectations are quickly fading. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell confirmed this on June 12th when he and his fellow policymakers indicated there would only be one rate cut in 2024 and expected more in 2025. Reinforcing the notion of keeping borrowing costs higher for longer to suppress inflation. Inflation is the culprit. If the Fed drops rates and mortgage rates follow, then demand will increase, prices will skyrocket again, and we'll be right back where we started. We were hoping to see three more interest rate cuts this year, but now it looks like we're only going to see one before the end. Remember, the Fed does not directly control interest rates, but it greatly influences them. What are the factors that are keeping inflation high? According to the article, the first thing is shelter prices. And these are based on lease prices, not the sale prices of homes. While some sources have reported a slow in the growth of new leases, the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, has not reflected this yet, and therefore a drop in rates is unlikely based on those findings. The second thing is energy prices, specifically oil. The prices fell for most of last year, but for specifically in 2024, prices actually rose in the first quarter. These increases translate into higher costs for gasoline and electricity. And the third is insurance costs. Florida Realtors reported that insurance for both homeowners and renters is rising faster right now than it has in the last nine years. And the cost of insurance for automobiles is up year over year by 20.3%. The reason for that that was stated is the fact that cars now are more advanced and technological and therefore more expensive to repair. As much as buyers and let's face it, probably sellers too, would love to see a sudden drop in rates, the frenzy that that would cause would also cause prices to skyrocket all over again. And any shifts we're gonna see in rates right now are gonna be tiny and they're gonna be few and far between. So if we know that interest rates are not gonna drop often and when and if they do drop, it's not gonna be by very much, what should we be doing? Everyone has a different situation and affordability is absolutely a huge issue for many people right now. But if you are in a position where you can purchase something, the sooner you do it, the more you're gonna realize those gains and wealth over time. So if you're willing, able and ready, what are you waiting for? Because what I keep trying to hammer home in these videos is that you don't have to buy the big, beautiful dream house first. You just have to buy something and the right strategy is going to get you into something sooner, which is your trading card to get that pool home later. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time.